I've been shopping for a new camera, and uh, I've done a lot of researching of reviews and all that sort of stuff. You know, there's this due diligence that one does when one's about to make a relatively major purchase. Problem is now, I, I've made my decision, I've made my purchase, I'm waiting for it to be shipped, etc, etc. But all of my recommendations now, every advertisement I happen to see, the ones that I can't block for one reason or another, every, uh, my whole YouTube feed, all of my um, you know, Google News recommendations, everything, everything, everything is just camera recommendations, camera reviews, camera comparisons, camera, 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 chameleon. And um, I, I doubt that's going to not be the case for, for a while. Because uh, I bought a Chromebook about mm, a year and a half, almost two years ago. And um, I still get that constantly. Like, no matter what I do, it's always recommendations, reviews, and articles about the latest new Chromebooks, the latest new, you know, news about even the same model of the one that I did ultimately purchase. These advertising algorithms, like, they don't... They're stupid. They're, they're obviously stupid. They're just feeding back a mirror of myself to me because they know that at this point I'm interested in this thing, these cameras, because clearly I'm trying to buy one. But it doesn't understand the fact that once somebody has bought a camera, they're not going to buy another camera. They just recognize that a camera is being purchased here, ergo... We want this person to be shown camera information so that they can buy a camera. And well, if they buy one camera, well, maybe they'll buy more cameras and we can sell more cameras to this person who is clearly a camera buying enthusiast. It, it again just feeds into the, the problems of having an advertisement driven internet, where if you've got a mirror as the algorithm that recommends your content rather than an actually holistically understanding algorithm recommending content to you, it's just going to feed back nonsense, just more of yourself, more of the same. Now, the, the idea of an algorithm that recommends content for you, I don't see an inherent problem with that. Yes, there is some argument to be made about like, well, I am the human agent here, I should be making all the decisions. But there is a lot of information out there, like there's a lot of internet. And so no regular human being can realistically find all of it. They can't sort through the whole thing in order to find specifically what they want. But on the other hand, these algorithms don't necessarily have our best interests in mind when they're recommending stuff to us. Like take the social media algorithms, and I've talked about this a number of times before, where they are programmed to show you information that is going to be emotionally engaging to you outrage producing, controversy producing, so that you'll spend more time looking at this thing because it is inciting your emotional responses, causing you to angry type at it and pay attention to this conflagation of different people debating stuff and yada yada yada, calling each other names, whatever. It would be nice if there were AI assistants, content recommenders, content sorters, that sort of thing, <clears throat> that we're actually, we're in charge of, not the advertisers in charge of, not the owners of the platforms being in charge of, the ones that are trying to extract money from us, the users. If the algorithm was instead our employee, we're, we're asking this AI to do our work for us, the, the work that we can't realistically do ourselves, then it'll have a much different character. I probably wouldn't be inundated with camera ads for the rest of my existence, nor Chromebook ads, nor nonsense on social media. Anyway, just a small lament today. Uh, I make videos daily. You might uh, enjoy some of those. And uh, yeah, soon I'll have a new camera and you'll be able to see the color green because if I were to put on a green right now, it'd, it'd look really gross. And new camera should be able to do that properly. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.